Hi, and welcome to uh, the libcurl video tutorial, the setup episode. Uh, in this episode, I intend to create a make file uh, and just um, as an embryo to use in, f in in other episodes. So the hope here is that we can make one make file and pretty much reuse that um, more or less unmodified in all the episodes to just build the examples and, and get everything thing get everything running smoothly. So on my screen here I have my uh, terminal window and I have a um, editor window, the uh, actually an Emacs window, but it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is create a, a directory called uh, tutorial in my source directory. I'm going to mk mkd and I'm going to change that. So it, you can see here it's an empty directory. Nothing in there and in that directory I'm going to um, create a make file. So this is the directory in which we will build uh, different examples when we go forward in different episodes in this series. <coughs> okay, so this is totally blank to start with. M I plan to create apps that I call my curl app. And my curl app is depending, this is a make file, is dep it depends on my curl app dot, uh, dot O, which is the object file. So if there's no app and there's an object file, we build, right? We build the app and we do that like this. We use the debug option because we want to keep the bug symbols for debugging. We use the output file. This is an automatic variable from, um, from make. So it, it brings the name here. So it generates the app and it takes the object files from the right side of the colon and we also use the libs from the libs variable. We don't have any libs variable yet and we don't have any cc here. Well cc is automatically set to something so we could leave it like this for now but we don't. So what libs do we do use? We could use just libcurl. We can do that to start with but we don't have any way to build the object file because the object file depends on the C file. So if the object file doesn't exist or the C file is newer, we build, uh, we'll compile the C file to the object file like that. So that that's, uh, but we don't have any C file. So let's then create the my curl app.c and here we just want to make sure that the make file works here, so I'm going to make the simplest possible, uh, simplest possible curl program. It ju I just wanted to be able to build a curl program that uses a curl symbol somewhere to make sure that the link and the build and link works. So let's just make create a handle. I'm going to explain this more exactly what you want to do with curl and how in, in in other episodes so this is just the smallest possible thing so it just uses curl here so if we have this little program we have this little make file can we do make in the on the other side bam so it built my curl app.c into an object file, it linked object file together with the curl library into the my curl app. And I can now run my curl app here. It doesn't do anything, so you can see uh, much. It returned exit code zero. So go back to um, the make file then. What we can do to make it slightly more fancy is that we can ask, since I'm using Debian here, and this is similar to Ubuntu, and it's going to be similar on other Linux distributions as well. Uh, you will, it, it will vary wherever you are, but I'm assuming that uh, wherever you are, you end up in a similar situation. You might have a more IDE set up or something, but and then you need to figure this out differently. But anyway, so there's this tool called curl config that gets installed with curl on most distributions that has information about the curl installation. And with this you can, for example, invoke this command, curl config libs, and it outputs what libraries to use to build curl uh, applications with. So we can actually use that 
in our make file here so we can use ask curl config for what libs to use and we can also do the similar thing to ask curl config what cc compiler was used for to build curl so we can use the same one so if we do that and we do make it does the same thing but hey if what if we want to rebuild let's make a back in the make file we make a clean target so if you do make clean do this rf and we remove the object file and we remove the output binary so we try it out clear the screen make clean yes it removes those so now the well i have backups for my editor but if we ignore those we can see there that they are if i build they build it and you can see now that it asks curl config for the cc and curl config for the libs and it works similarly we can actually also then do ldd on the output file if we want to see exactly what uh, shared libraries this has linked with and in my case i have a, a debian here it's going to show a lot of libraries because my lib curl in debian links to a lot of third-party dependencies so bam a huge list but i'm not going to bother about that right now so you can just again verify that you can rerun it so then i just made this very simple embryo basic make file called and you this builds the c program my curl app dot c the plan here is then that in other episodes you just edit or enhance this my curl app dot c going forward we can just run make in this file so if you just stick to this directory you created now and put the make file and the c file in uh, we can build it so on to next episode uh, so go back to the table of contents and figure out what next um, i will try to do episodes of course i will start out with the simplest one and add more and more features and advanced uh, stuff so if you haven't used libcurl before i suggest you continue to the very next simple step enjoy